Well, hello, my fellow sensitive people. I have uh, decided to do a long meditation tonight. I'm just getting started and meditating, getting into that nice, relaxed meditative state that we talk about in HCRV class, um, which I believe is tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Hope you'll join us. But, um, it's very important to get yourself down into that relaxed. Sometimes yoga can help. Just center yourself and meditate in a loving way on the thing you're trying to connect with. That would be my guidance to anybody who is um, wanting to be a professional empath. And it will make you a better human being as I believe it has made me a better human being. So having said that, I want to talk a little bit about the first part of this remote, which involves the Department of Education and attacks, cyber attacks uh, that have been coming into the United States. Uh, when you go into this energy of the American defense, we'll just call it America's defense systems, I feel like I'm in shock and it feels to me like when you are under attack from something evil or something horrible that or something that feels like it's an existential threat there are three ways you react right it's uh, fight flight or freeze and when you go into the energy of our intelligence agencies it's like this cloud of hypnosis came over our agencies all at once and they they became frozen in a kind of denial where well, they just went about their work I see them just going about their work in, in this kind of frozen denial um, which is something you'll see in children who've been abused, where they just check out. And it goes back to what we've heard in the past from President Obama that people just kind of froze. And it, it, it's slow, this type of takeover of our government feels very slow, methodical, almost like opium and it kind of takes you over and then you check out and that is the feeling of our intelligence agencies and now we're coming out of that opium dream and we're kind of what the heck has happened to our country so it would be interesting to look at you know it's interesting it's like tinker taylor spy but it's in, it would be interesting to look at what what, what was going on uh, during the time of Carter, as that's when the businessmen really start to take hold, and it would also be interesting to see how their international relationships are somehow linked to how this all connects, because it feels to me like this was a very slow thing that went over a long period of time, and if we perhaps look back to the time of relationship between, say, um, Russia and Carter, we may be able to understand uh, Russia and, of course, or I mean, uh, Carter and, of course, uh, taxation of the rich, we're, we're aware of that. But um, how this all comes together and how it, it seems to start with Carter, I think that, you know, uh, forcing him out and leading to the Reaganomics and the privatization and then intermingling with Russian mafia and focusing so much on capitalism in ways that were really, uh, you know, uh, that really come about during the time of Reagan. That's when we really see this kind of fanatical obsession 
uh, Americans are having with uh, money above all else. I don't think it was like that. If you look at earlier uh, influences, say from the, uh, the 1940s, uh, that certainly wasn't the case. All right, thank you everybody for uh, watching uh, this uh, quick remote. Be sure and share, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Be well.